Hello people, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Atman and uh, I'd like to thank everybody that has been responding to the videos I've been dropping. Everybody that's been liking, commenting, subscribing, watching. I thank you. I thank you. I appreciate all of you. Uh, today, guys, we're going to be touching on a very, very sensitive um, topic that has to do with a Didi, of course. Um, I've seen that he has been placed on suicide watch while he's still in jail. Um, and uh, today, I want to, to get a little bit inside of that uh, conspiracy theory pocket a bit. So, if you're not a person that believes in all of these type of uh, subjects, you might need to fast forward. But, yeah, I, I mean, for, for, first of all, I am in no, you know, means trying to defend Didi by any means. Uh, but, however, we have to admit that um, the power that be or whoever that's running the show is clearly using the same tactics every time. Um, I mean, we've seen with uh, Jeffrey Epstein how that uh, ended. And now, now it's, it's Didi's, you know, tend to be somewhat put on suicide watch. Like, like, hear me out. Hear me out, fam. I know the crimes are ridiculously insane. And um, the sentencing itself is, you know, but let's be honest. Didi doesn't strike me as somebody that will, or that could end his own life. Honestly speaking, he's, I feel like he's too into himself. I feel like he's too, you know, in love with whatever that he has going on. For him to just let go of it, um, I think he's 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 basically just too self-centered for him to just you know um, end his own life, honestly speaking. But also, if I have to flip the script a bit, I would say that can also somewhat be a reason enough for him to actually do the horrific thing, um, which is ending his own life. Uh, because just the thought of him seeing himself in that situation and going through this and just facing his, uh, the consequences and paying for all of his crimes is is can can somewhat you know uh, tint his his whole character tint his whole demeanor of course so yeah just playing the devil's advocate on that one but honestly speaking I'm 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 pretty confident to say he doesn't strike me as a man. That can actually do that, honestly speaking. So, whoever did he got um, mad, whoever that he pissed off, um, that's between them and whoever that is or whoever they are. Um, what we, our main focus here is for us to see, you know, justice um, prevail. What we just want to see is justice prevail, and unfortunately. Whether or not these people that are after him were or are, you know, a part of the people that he has been doing this shady business with and whatnot, that's besides the point at this point because he's the one that's been brought forward and unfortunately we just have to, you know, uh, pay attention to that. Uh, but also, he has been living trails, unfortunately. He has been living trails. There's a lot that has been resurfacing, a lot that has been shared and brought to the public that, you know, made it so obvious that he is indeed about the lifestyle that he's been accused of. So, unfortunately, uh, this is crazy that he's been put on suicide watch. Uh, but I honestly just don't see it happening, honestly. So... Me getting into the conspiracy bag, it's me saying, if this plays out, you know, on the left, uh, to the left rather, um, to someone like myself, I'd know for sure that there is some, some, you know, something sinister about this repetition of, of people just, you know, being, 
abstained, <laughs> if I should put it. Um, so yeah, let's check out um, what they have to say about this because, my goodness, man, it's 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 crazy, man. It's crazy. And also, we have to bear in mind that even though I may I may say that there are people who, who you know who are the powers that be just to title it that way um there are also people who are in this footage that has been said to be in you know uh detained by the authorities that may also not want to be exposed so you know maybe they might try some funny business with him also so I think the suicide watch is 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 at this point should be just protection from anything but himself because he might he has a target on his back at this point he definitely has a target on his back um anyway don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe let's jump right into it let's check what they have for us today let's go the story we're tracking, music mogul Sean Diddy Combs on suicide watch at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center after two judges denied his request for bail. This as a grand jury is expected to hear new testimony from sex workers very soon. Good day, Lizette Nunez is outside the facility in Gowanus with the very latest. Lizette, good morning. Good morning, Dan. So TMC is reporting that two sex workers are sharing their encounters with Diddy with the feds. We're also hearing that Diddy has a target on his back while he is behind bars. Exactly what I'm saying, too. He definitely has a target on his back. It's crazy. Ours <laughs> here at the Metropolitan Detention Center. TMZ is reporting that more people plan to cooperate with the feds in Sean Diddy Combs sex trafficking case. We found out that uh, these two individuals and we have actually uh, spoken to one of them. They are both sex workers, currently sex workers. One of them says that they had um, an interaction with Diddy in 2014 um, and they are willing to uh, tell the feds what they know about that interaction. Jeremy Saland, a criminal defense attorney, weighing in. You can't, as a prosecutor, subpoena or force a witness to come speak to you in your, in your office, but you can subpoena them to a grand jury where they can speak there uh, or have to potentially speak there. So whether these are new witnesses, whether these are new complainants, meaning victim parties, uh, making the allegations, uh, will yet to be seen, but it doesn't bode well. It doesn't you know, certainly it's not a good thing if you're Sean Combs' team. According to several reports, Diddy has... But wait, if there are people who are willing to go against him and these are the people that are also, were also rather a part of those activities and whatnot, and they going to implicate themselves in some way or form, this, you know... I'm not sure. This is this is crazy. Has been placed on suicide watch at the Metropolitan Correction Center in Brooklyn. The music mogul's mental state is unknown, but being placed on watch is considered to be a preventative measure. This week, two different judges denied his request for a fifty million dollar bond. And another thing, fam, like if he's been put on suicide watch as a preventative measure. What qualified that? What qualified? I mean, to to even suggest that there has to be some, there has to be some something that was giving of him being, you know, mentally unstable or just unstable um, altogether. That you know gives a bit of signs that he may harm himself. So, you know, this is me just. Looking at this from a different lens right now, like, we've seen this movie. <laughs> we've seen this movie before. We've seen it. We know what's going on, like, at this point. 
His lead defense attorney is attempting to move him to a different facility in New Jersey as he awaits trial. TMZ is reporting that due to his celebrity status and the allegations, this could bring unwanted attention from other inmates and be a threat to Diddy. What we've been told uh, by a former warden is he's a target. Um, uh, that's the fact of the matter, and that's why they have him uh, in a uh, in a solitary uh, part of the of the jail because they don't, you know, he becomes a target because it's like a, what we've been told. It's like a badge of honor that if you were able to inflict some violence on Diddy, um, that gets you you score points uh, with other inmates. So. That's a situation that obviously the uh, jail officials do not want to have. That's valid. That's valid. That's valid. Protection from or protection against other inmates. That's a valid point. That's definitely a valid point. Happen. And federal investigators have made it clear that they do have video evidence, so they have an idea of who was a part of these freak ops. Now, the criminal defense attorney that we spoke to, he went on to say, depending on what these sex workers share, that means, potentially could mean that there would be new charges for Diddy. As the here from Brooklyn, we'll send things back inside. All right, Lizette, thank you very much. So there you have it, fam. There you have it, the boy Diddy. In big trouble, man. He's in big trouble. He's definitely in some serious, serious trouble. I just don't see him making it out, let alone making it out alive. Because we've seen this movie before, man, and I'm not wishing any harm towards him, regardless of his crimes. Um, all I just want to see is justice prevail and him being put behind bars and, you know, paying for... You know, just doing time for all his crimes. But we've seen this movie and we know how it ends, man. Unfortunately, we know how it ends. And at this point, there is no point of no... We are at a point of no return. We are definitely at a point of no return. And, um, I mean, when he was still outside before he, he, was, in con he, he, he was detained, I, I somewhat felt like there's a chance of him, you know... Um, there's a chance of this whole thing just fading to thin air, uh, you know, but as soon as reports came in that he has been apprehended, I was like, okay, I guess he is going to jail after all. And we see it now happening in real time. So yeah, man, that's the boy Diddy, man. That's the boy Diddy. Behind bars on suicide watch. By any means necessary. Yeah. So that's that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace and love.